Restrict the domain of f of x so that f is 1 to 1. Then find f inverse of x. So our given function f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 1 is not 1 to 1. And we could see this in a couple of different ways. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to create a, a small table of values. So let's say we had x versus f of x. And let me just use, um, let's say, x values negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, then my outputs, negative 2 to the 4th is 16, 16 minus 1 is 15. Negative 1 to the 4th is 1, minus 1 is 0. 0 to the 4th is 0, minus 1 is negative 1. 1 to the 4th is 1, minus 1 is 0. And 2 to the 4th is 16, minus 1 is 15. So we can see right there that it's not 1 to 1. If we were to draw a rough sketch of this function, let's see, we'd have 0, negative 1, we would have negative 1, 0, and 1, 0, and we'd have 2, 15, or negative 2, 15, and positive 2, 15. And so we get a curve that looks roughly like a parabola, except it flattens out a little bit more near the, near the bottom. So we'd get that rough sketch. And so notice this fails the horizontal line test. And so it's therefore not a one-to-one -one function. So what I'm going to do here is I will restrict the domain. I'm going to kind of cut this in half right on that axis. And I'm going to now restrict the domain. So let's say that f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 1. But let's just put it on the domain. Let's go have it go from 0 to infinity. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm erasing that left-hand side of the curve. Now, on that restricted domain, I can find an inverse. So, if I have f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 1, I can think of that as y equals x to the fourth minus 1, and I'll solve for x, I'll add 1, y plus 1 is equal to x to the fourth. Now I have to take the fourth root, but remember when we take the fourth root of both sides of an equation, we invoke a plus or minus. So I'd have to have plus or minus fourth root of y plus 1 equals x. And so now here's where there's a problem. We can't have a plus and minus because then we can't write a function. All right, so we have to decide which is it. All right, well, what I can do is, and I've thrown away these two ordered pairs, let's invert the other ordered pairs. I'd have negative 1, 0, 0, 1, and I'd have 15, 2, which would be out here somewhere. So I'd get the inverse is going to look roughly like that. So there's the inverse function in purple. So, just like with a square root, that looks like a positive square root function. Now, I know this isn't a square root, it's a fourth root, but the shapes are still similar. And so what that tells me is I'm going to keep the positive fourth root. So I'll write that x is equal to the positive fourth root of y plus 1. We invert the variables y is equal to the positive fourth root of x plus 1, and use the appropriate inverse notation. f inverse of x is equal to the fourth root of x plus 1. And then notice that the domain of this function is negative 1 to infinity.